Hi, I'm Cadet Alwyn, and today I'm going to be doing my Warrior Ethos project on Ryan Pitts. Uh, he earned the Medal of Honor. He was awarded the Medal of Honor on July 21st of 2014 by President Obama. He earned this in a conflict that occurred on July 13th of 2008 in the vicinity of Wanat Village in the Kunar province in Afghanistan. Uh, what happened was an anti-Afghan force sustained a um, complex assault, uh, anti-Afghan anti force of 200 organized members um, who were shooting rocket propelled grenades, machine guns, and small arms fire at the Wanted Vehicle Patrol Base. Uh, he, um, sorry, Ryan Pitts uh, was injured from shrapnel uh, from a wave of grenade rounds that the enemy had um, put on them. He returned suppressive fire and threw grenades at them um, until a two-man reinforcement team came. And he gathered ammo and did all he could for the two-man team and uh, kept throwing grenades until he was out of grenades. and. Um, by that time, he had already crawled to a radio, um, and he was so close to the enemy that he could hear them talking to each other. So he had to whisper the sit rep into the radio and uh, call for indirect fire support. Um, as um, the situation report um, and the indirect fire support uh prevented the enemy from overrunning the observation posts and prevented the capture of fallen injured American soldiers and also prevented the enemy from gaining higher ground uh, to prevent um, easier um, overrun of the patrol base and yeah it, so it wouldn't be as easy for it the patrol base to be overrun. Sorry. Um, uh, Ryan Pitts, he, he had a lot of army values and warrior ethos that he uh, showed in this. He had loyalty to his comrades. He suppressed fire and prevented the capture of his uh, fallen injured soldiers um, that he was with. He did all that he could to protect his patrol base. He did his duty and went beyond his duty um, while he was injured. Uh, during this, this selfless service, even when he was injured and in a position of being found out, he did the situation report and uh, got fire support and kept lobbing grenades and um, providing that. Uh, he had a lot of personal courage um, when you're in that position and there's um, all this noise around you uh, you're getting fired at I'm sure it, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of hope um, so just him being in that position where he could have been found out um, even with the possibility of dying he did what he had to do and he remained steadfast and defended his unit this brings me to the warrior ethos points he placed his mission first of uh, protecting his patrol base. He um, never accepted defeat. He kept going even when it got tough, um, even when he was seriously injured. Um, he never quit when he was down. He, uh, as I said, he kept going. Uh, he got that situation report um, in there and he uh, got that fire support. He protected his fallen comrades by being steadfast, by um, thinking fast and uh, defending his unit with all he could. Uh, the long-term effects of this attack, um, nine Americans died and 27 Americans got injured. The coalition forces had withdrawn from Wanet on uh, about two days after that attack. And the Combined Joint Task Force 101 commander determined that they couldn't achieve the counterinsurgency objectives that they had first tried uh, or first wanted to do um, there. So um, that's why they left. And another reason why they left was the 
uh, complicity in the attack by the local government officials, civilians, and Afghan national police. I'm and the Afghan national police. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, it it uh, put them in a position where they could get attacked again or be in a position where it um, wouldn't be good for them. Uh, the Afghanistan relations with the U.S. or the culture between uh, Afghanistan and the United States were uh, partnered with them in a fight against al-Qaeda, ISIS, and their affiliates in Afghanistan. The U.S. invests resource in to, resources into Afghanistan. Uh, they invest um, and improve security, uh, the governance, the institutions, and the economy. Um, they have approximate, or the United States, sorry, has approximately 14,000 troops in Afghanistan uh, to uh, for bilateral counterterrorism and participation in the Resolute Support Mission, the RSM. It's a non-combat mission and provides training, advice, and assist support to the Afghan National Defense Security Forces. Uh, the bilateral counterterrorism uh, thwarts terrorism in Afghanistan, and it makes sure that there isn't terrorism here. Um, it also creates good relations um, uh, with the Afghan nation. Uh, the Resolute Support Mission, it's helpful for future events. Um, it, builds our alliance with them and uh, thwarts terrorism um, in the end. Um, the warrior ethos and its importance to Ryan Pitts. Um, he never really mentioned warrior ethos, but in an interview, uh, he viewed the situation that he was in, um, the attack, um, as everyone just doing their job and himself included it was a team effort for him and nobody he said nobody did anything on their own he wasn't the only one to fight wounded um everyone that could fight um even wounded was and he wanted to make sure everyone is recognized for what they did and and i interpreted that as everyone was displaying warrior ethos and i feel like that was important to him because he did all that he could and he knew that everyone with him was doing all that they could too and i feel like that's displaying real warrior ethos and if you can't trust that everyone is going to put their all into a mission then i feel like you can't really um completely trust your entire team um to be able to protect you and um, themselves um warrior ethos and army values are important in being or to me in being able to trust those around you if you don't follow it and no one around you does either or no one will either they'll follow you because you're the leader um well if you're <laughs> the second lieutenant um th then there isn't trust um these are people who are supposed to have your back and you're supposed to have their back if you're not displaying um, if you're not doing your duty and you're not displaying personal courage, um, there's also like, you know, being smart and stuff too. But if you're still not like giving it your all and making sure that you're protecting, um, those around you, then it doesn't feel like there would be a lot of trust there. Um, also Ryan Pitts, he's kind of an example, his adherence to the army values and the warrior ethos saved his life and the lives around him and as he adhered to him he was putting faith in his comrades to do the same um and i feel like that's why it's so important to have warrior ethos and army values they're also um just kind of a a guideline so for everyone to kind of follow so that everyone can be on the same page and work together and these are my sources and these are my picture sources